Hey guys, it's me. I'm stressed out right now and tired, so I probably look that way. Um, it was a long night with Apple of staying up and being up every couple hours, feeding her, giving her water, trying to keep her dry and comfortable. This morning I had to give her a tummy bath because she's peeing all over her stomach. It's messy and it stinks. And I just want her to feel normal again. So she's being really picky with eating on her own. Haven't seen her drink herself. She'll eat a couple strands of hay if you put new stuff in front of her, but then she quickly loses interest. Um, she will eat some veggies, but like veggies aren't the best thing for her. I mean, it's not terrible, but I want her to be eating hay to really get her stomach back to normal. So I've been hand feeding her, giving her water, and taking her out of her bed every couple hours to put a new pad in. Oh, I just can't wait till she's walking around and eating more and drinking and stuff like that. I was actually really surprised how lethargic she was and for how long. I guess I was just thinking like she would bounce back a little bit quicker since the bad stone was taken out and but then I guess she had to have that incision, like the little nick in her urethra to get it out and probably feels bruised and probably burns when she pees and all of that stuff. And anesthesia and sedation and all that crap probably feels absolutely horrendous in your system. And she is a senior. So it's been a lot. It's been a little while since I've had a pig so sick. So I just want her to bounce back and be happy again. It's very sad when one of your pigs isn't feeling right. It just really weighs you down. So I'll get back to doing some other videos soon. Right now I just feel like I have tunnel vision and I feel like a heavy heart, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so I'll just show you some clips of Apple as we were going along today. So I changed Apple's little section a bit. So this cord here is to a better heating pad because the other thing she was on was just a disc that you microwave. So she's in a one by three section. She's still not active and when the herd's around her, everybody just is kind of too in her face, like trying to get in her bed, trying to eat all the hay around her. So, I just gave her a piece of radicchio and she's actually eating it whereas the hay it's literally just me putting hay in her mouth and she'll chew a little bit so I have given her some recovery food and I'm gonna keep doing that every two hours and thankfully a friend from work is gonna work for me tomorrow because I was supposed to work tomorrow but since Apple's taking so long to really come around, I was getting scared about leaving her. So, yeah, so I'm going to keep her in this section until she gets moving. And plus, now nobody's going to steal her bed on the warm pad, which is another thing I was worried about. If she gets kicked out of bed, where is she going to go to stay warm? So peeing for her still looks uncomfortable, but she does have that cut right where her urethra is, so I imagine that really burns when she pees. So this is going to be a long haul. I just can't wait for her to be up and moving. I absolutely hate seeing piggies not feeling well and being slow from sedation. It just breaks my heart. Like I had her sitting on my lap while I was hand feeding her and I just felt like crying because I'm the one that chose to have her go through that procedure, which I know she needed it, but you know what I mean? Where you just feel like you've put them into even more pain and now they're upset and sad because of something you chose to have done to them. So I'll feel better when she gets moving. I'm just feeling emotional. It just takes a lot out of you. Because there's so, so many highs and lows. Like, I was all excited that her stones were gone. And then when I got her home and she's really tired and not moving, 
just breaks my heart. So I'm hoping after eating this radicchio, like this is the most movement she's been showing. Otherwise she just lays there. So maybe after she eats this radicchio she'll feel a little more adventurous. I don't know. So she has everything she needs. She has a water bottle, um, some pellets, and a huge pile of hay. And as I said, her bed is on a heat pad, so she'll stay nice and warm. Once they're out of a surgery, like it's really important to keep them warm, especially if they're not moving well, they're going to lose their body temperature very quickly. <sighs> and I think heat, obviously, on her belly and her tummy area is probably going to feel a lot nicer, help her relax more. So I'll, I'll update you guys in a bit, like right now it's 10.40 p.m. So she's been home since about 5.40 and this is the most she's actually moved. Thanks for eating your hay. Like they have one, two, three different areas of hay, but we have to steal apples. Don't we? Does it taste better? Good job, apple. Oh, are we poking our head out? Because we're thinking there's more radicchio. I'd love to see you eat some more hay, sweetheart. What do you think? Do you eat some hay? These girls are eating your hay. So luckily she's been pooping already. When she came home from the vet there was a bunch of ugly poops in her cage behind her and then she's pooped a bunch since then which is good she just really needs to get eating some more on her own but anyway I fed her about an hour ago so I'll come back in another hour I'm gonna do like every two hours of feeding her because I want to make sure she gets rest in between so that she can get her strength back so we'll be back Okay, so it's about almost 8 a.m. in the morning. It was a long night. Uh, Apple really didn't do any eating on her own, so I was hand feeding her constantly. And I kept her the entire night in her little section so that she was warm on her heat pad. So this morning I took her out of her section to be with the herd, which I think she'll do just fine now. Um, she will walk around. I still haven't seen her go eat hay on her own, so I'm still going to do hand feeding. She is interested in the vegetables, which is good. Unfortunately, probably due to the cut on her urethra and it's stinging and hurting, she is peeing where it's going all over her belly. So this morning, um, I did give her a belly bath and then dried her off and put her back because I want to make sure obviously she doesn't get urine scald and that I try to keep her downtown area as clean as possible especially with that area needing to heal so she is pooping they're still pretty ugly poops so I will be doing some probiotics and stuff like that but that's from all the medication and having been put under and whatnot so she is more alert now, so I just hope to see her at some point today eating hay on her own. So fingers crossed we'll see that. I'm keeping her little area over here with the heat pad so that if she wants to go in that bed to stay warm she can. But I feel pretty confident that she's able to 
work through the herd just fine now because she's got her strength up. And it was totally normal putting her back with the herd. It wasn't like a Annabelle and Annalise situation because that wasn't normal. Nobody cared that she came back because they could see her all through the night and were stealing her hay and everything. So I will update you guys again later today and I hope to have some positive news that she's eating, possibly even drinking on her own. Her sub -Q fluids have probably worn off by now, so it's good that she's having a lot of veggies. And I mean when I'm hand feeding her, there's water obviously to make the recovery food as well. But if I don't see her drinking on her own today, I am going to syringe her water as well. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next update. So it's quarter after eight. And after she finished her veggies, she was just hiding in a cube, so I took her out. And then she came over to this tunnel, so I put hay in front of her. And I've seen her eat some strands of hay. And just like typical pig fashion, just because she has a little pile here she's working on, everybody has to come over here. And Huckle has to like bulldoze through it all. They're so goofy. You guys are goofy. Okay, well we had maybe two pieces, which is something. That's not very nice. I gotta find some hay to eat, sweetie. There's lots to pick from. The whole cage is loaded with hay and she's still being really picky. Hi. You're adorable. Now get eating. You gotta eat apple. It's the only way you're gonna start feeling better. At least she's cleaning. When they're really sick, they don't even feel like cleaning themselves, so that's something. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!